Hello, and welcome to the Clone Wars review for episode 7, Deal No Deal. Clone review. Second episode in the Ahsoka arc, and uh, coronavirus is still a big thing. So, I'm doing this meme again. I'm gonna start off, I thought this episode was really good. I thought it was better than the last episode. That was just like a, a setting the scene episode. Showing us where Ahsoka is, what she's doing, how she how she be. Uh, meeting Trace and um, Rafa and all that. And now, they're doing a job. Drug running. So this episode, Ahsoka and Trace are working on Trace's ship. Which she's called the Silver Angel. Pretty decent name. Yeah, it's alright. I like it when they uh, name ships and stuff. I like naming ships. If I if, if my Star Wars OC has like a, a custom ship, I, I give it a nice little name. I know that in the campaign, the D&D campaign I've mentioned, uh, the ship everyone's using is called the spin the sp it's called the splinter. So yeah, I think ships with names are nice, nice and nice and epic. So yeah, starts with the Soaker and Trace working on the Silver Angel. They're kind of fixing it up. Uh, Trace is talking about how she can't wait to fire it up. Ahsoka comments on the name Silver Angel being an interesting name, and Trace is like, "What's what's wrong with it? It's a great name." This becomes a gag later in the episode. So just store that one in your brain for now. And then Rafa shows up. He's like, yo, I need you for a job. I think it was a pretty good Rafa impression, not gonna lie. But yeah, she needs Trace for a job because Trace can fly a ship. Trace gets a little angry, a little angry, because Rafa had hired a pilot before picking her to do this spice mission. But the pilot pulled out and took their ship with him, so now they don't have a pilot. So Rafa comes to Trace because Trace is a pilot, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they do the the, the spice run because uh, I mean apparently the Silver Angel is the fastest ship in the galaxy according to Trace. Don't know how true that is. We haven't really seen it in a race, so I can't really comment on that. So yeah, they they as as they're leaving Coruscant, this is a pretty pretty good pretty good meme, right? So because Trace has never actually flown uh, like a ship before, she's done like speeders and like maintenance vehicles and stuff. She uh, she enters the military lane, space sky space lane, sky lane, something like that. She enters military the military lane, and is following some Republic gunships up to a cruiser. And then Admiral Yularen comes through the comms like, "Bro, who the fuck are you?" But luckily, they manage to get out because Rafa says, "Oh, she's teaching her assistant how to fly." So yeah, Ahsoka's a bit cagey about answering a Republic transmission. And then she hears it from Yularen and she just stays quiet. She doesn't want to be like identified by anyone. And as the ship flies past the Venator into the uh, shipping lane, or whatever, it's the civilian lane or something, I guess, Adnakin kind of senses that Ahsoka is on board that ship. But he doesn't He doesn't do anything, because like, she's not a Jedi anymore, she's allowed to do her own thing, so he lets her go. And they fly off to Kessel. And during hyperspace, ra um, Trace forgot to take off the, her, her air brakes, which the ship was like shaking and shuddering and all that. She's an experienced pilot, so, you know, even though she claims to be a great pilot, she, she really isn't. She's learning on the job, and this job happens to be drug smuggling. I thought we'd have seen the Kessel run in, in Clone Wars art style, but unfortunately we didn't, which is a shame. But we did see the sick Kessel run sequence in Solo, which looks very good, so I guess that's okay. Would have been, would have been nice to see it in the Clone Wars style, but it would have been a lot to animate, so I, I can see why they didn't. But they actually go to this nice looking part of Kessel that's like got a lush jungle and a nice nice palace with a king. There's a king on Kessel, what the fuck? I didn't know about this, but now I do. It's going in the brain. So yeah, they meet the, um, I guess like the vizier of the uh, the king. I can't remember his actual title. No, it escaped me, his actual title, so I'm just going to call him the vizier. He's like the, the, the assistant to the king. He meets everyone instead of the king, unless they become like close partners and then they, they get to meet the king. But yeah, they have a nice feast for this job, you know? And then Ahsoka's kind of like, bro, what are we actually, what are we actually picking up? And then the uh, the vizier's like, uh, talking to Rafa, because Rafa's kind of the one that organized everything. She's like the ringleader here. Um, he tells her that it's unrefined spice, you know, the Star Wars drug. Now Ahsoka's like, bro, who the fuck? Spice can be used as a drug. But the, the, the king urges that it's for medicinal purposes to help during the war and not drugs. 
it's pretty obvious that it's going to be something nefarious because of the people we go to visit next. So they load the spice. They actually they they go set up the old the old spice collection. So they're flying over one of the spice mines, and Trace is like, "Look at all those droids. They must spend millions on these droids, or was it like thousands or something on these droids." But Ahsoka's like, "They ain't droids. They slaves." So yeah, it's kind of showing Trace the uh, the s the villainy, I guess, that surrounds the galaxy. So yeah, they uh, they pick up the spice. There's a Zygerian slave master there, so that just reinforces the slavery aspect of it. But they load all the spice onto the ships, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Rafa is a bit wary of Ahsoka, so she gets Trace to kind of watch over her, see she's not doing anything nefarious. Which she isn't, to be fair. So they're on the ship and they're having an argument about what they should do with the spice. Should they sell it to the people? Or do they donate it to a medical research place? Right? So, we discover they're going to visit the Pikes. You know, the big the big Pike crime syndicate. You know the, you know the, you know the vibes. They're the ones buying this copious amounts of spice, so I doubt it's gonna, I doubt it's gonna be used for medical purposes. But they're the ones buying the spice. And Ahsoka's like... I don't think that's a good idea. So they have an argument, should they sell the spice to the Pikes, or should they donate it for medical purposes? And then something happens and then Trace gets the idea of them taking a ship from her, which she doesn't want because the, her ship is her thing, she's worked so hard on that, she doesn't want to lose her ship. So like, what, what are they going to do? And then, in a fit of anger, I guess, fit of rage, uh, Rafa just punches the um, release buttons of the cargo and just launches it into hyperspace. <laughs> so they're traveling through hyperspace to get to the planet which the Pike are on, and she just jettisons all the spice into space. It was like, obviously, leaving Pike, leaving, yeah, no, leaving Kessel, the obvious, like, risk is getting targeted by uh, pirates looking for spice. But because Trace has a smaller ship that's not really the MO of a spice carrying vessel, they don't get attacked. They manage to make it out of Kessel alive. So Trace is worried about losing her ship. She doesn't want to lose her ship. Her ship is hers. It's her, her lifeline, I guess. Her way out of Coruscant. So they make it to the Pike planet and they land. And not, they don't have any spice anymore. So Ahsoka hatches a plan en route to. Uh, as a way to distract the Pikes to get the money without actually having to give them any spice. So when they arrive on the planet, they get surrounded by the pike guards, who are making sure that if this goes haywire, they will easily be able to capture the people. In this case, Ahsoka, Trace, and Rafa. So they meet Rafa and the, and the pike crime lord. Now the plan is obvious, right? Mind trick the pikes, get the money, get out. So that's what happens. Basically, the crime guy, crime lord, is like, Here's your money, but I'm not going to give it to you because you're not a pike. I don't trust you. We have to see the spice first. Then Ahsoka busts out her mind trick. She tells the... Well, she makes the crime boss be like... Makes the crime boss give her the money. And then let them leave without any resistance. Now, because these pikes... Well, because everyone's kind of somewhat brain dead. I mean, they might have heard Ahsoka say this and then the crime lord repeat this. Which they'd be thought, that's pretty strange. But no, they just or willingly obey their commander... And just let, uh, let them walk away. And then the, the, one of them, actually the one who's originally holding the money, is like, hang on, this is highly irregular. I'm going to check if there's any spice. As they're boarding onto their ship, they're like, hey, before you go, let's check the spice. So they send them the uh, craters that the spice used to be in. They prepare to leave. They're like, hey, watch the code for these. And Rafa's like, I think we transmitted those to you. Uh, so he bangs on it, sounds like it's hollow, shoots the thing, it opens up. Shows us no spice. By this time, they were so fucking slow with leaving that they hadn't left yet. The fucking ramp is slow as balls. So by the time they're actually ready to leave, the Pikes have already got their patrol ships with their tractor beams there. Trace is like, oh, they can't catch us, but then they're caught in a tractor beam and they're stuck. So the uh, episode leaves on a ends on a cliffhanger with Ahsoka, Rafa, and Trace being stuck on the planet and probably captured. It's alluded to the fact that they're going to be captured, so it's going to be interesting to see how they get out of this one. But yeah, overall I thought it was a better episode than the previous one. It really carries on with this little Ahsoka arc quite well, I feel. Uh, she's kind of 
shown that she has a Jedi powers. I don't know if they know she's a Jedi yet. I can't remember what they... Uh, we don't know what they say as the plan. So we don't know if Ahsoka's like trick them or she's going to use the force to trick them. It's, it's very unclear. Um, we learned that the Republic haven't shut down the Kessel Spice mines, which is interesting because you'd thought the Republic would shut down a slavery operation, but apparently not. And yeah, we really see Ahsoka kind of making her way in the world while not whilst not being a Jedi. Well, still having the Force, but not being a Jedi, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they get out of this one. Probably with some Jedi uh, Jedi action, leading to Trace and Rafa realising that Ahsoka is a Jedi. Having a moment of like mistrust of her, and then they finally trust her at the end of the episode, maybe? That's my guess for what happens next. <laughs> but yeah, I liked it. Um, it was a nice addition to see um, the Pikes again. Seeing Kessel. It's very like, these are the things we saw in Solo, and now they're in a Clone Wars episode. We can kind of compare how the pikes look in the Clone Wars to how they look in Solo, which I thought was a very good live action, live adaptation of a, of an animated character, which was very nice. So Solo, you did well. Ahsoka is up there with my favourite character, so it's always nice when we get to see her. And yeah, Disney Plus is out in the UK, but <laughs> so they ha so firstly we have to wait for weekly releases of The Mandalorian, which I've already seen, but we still need to wait for weekly releases of it. And we also need to have, we also get two episodes a week of The Clone Wars when they could have just released all the episodes they had up to the point and then just regularly updated it so it's in line with the US version. Fucking stupid, why didn't they do that? Who knows? But yes, I've been over the giant tree. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. There's a TFT video tomorrow. It's the Volcano Fragment one I mentioned last video. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for 800 subs. Peace. Hey, oh. I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand. I